Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is Lay, Sincerely Lay here. If you are returning, um, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> it is Tuesday, Tuesday night. I'm about to cook dinner. So y'all are about to cook with me. And I am also about to do a cool little story time with y'all. Hopefully y'all think it's juicy, entertaining because, you know, we just gonna try it out. See how y'all feel. <laughs> um, I would talk to y'all and interact with the camera as I am cooking. The only thing is the baby is sleepy and I just don't feel like trying to, you know, do the all the extras, you feel me? Um, disclaimer, please, like my nails are a mess right now. Please don't judge. Yeah, my nails are really bad right now, but we're going to ignore them. Don't worry about that. Worry about the positive things, okay? Um, I am about to cook some salmon. So a salmon, I don't know, I say salmon because um, there's an L in it, but I know the correct term, like the correct way is salmon. So salmon pasta with spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, and I'm going to cook it in basil alfredo sauce. So hopefully it's turned out good, which I feel like it is, okay? You know, your girl's cook, okay? Your girl. Your girl can cook some things up. <laughs> but yeah, so um, cook with me and listen to the story because y'all, it's something, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all. So one day, I was taking the bus from school home and I already had a rough day at school, okay? So I wasn't in the mood for no extra stuff, no hoopla, whatever you want to call it. I didn't want it, okay? So as I'm getting off, I had to take two buses to get home. So as I'm getting off the first bus, on my way to the second bus, there was a woman yelling, you killed my kids, you killed my kids. How could you, you killed my kids. So I'm just ignoring it. I'm like kind of paying attention, but I'm just trying to ignore it because look, when you are taking the public bus or any public transportation, you know, some things just, you know, are a little bit different. So you just kind of try to do your own thing Pay attention, proceed with caution, but you know, you just be like, hmm, you know, mind your own business. So next thing I know, the lady comes up to me, looks me right in my face and says, you killed my kids. First of all, I just hopped off the bus. I don't, I mean, murder was not on my mind, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so when she said that, I'm looking like, are you serious? Like, if you know me, I can't even kill a spider, a little ant sometimes. You think I'm about to be capable enough to kill some kids? Like, what? I'm like, um, so I'm thinking fast, like, because I'm just kind of paying attention. And honestly, I don't think she was all the way there. So but what I did was just slide over, you know, move to my right and walk around her. And she was following me like, yeah, you hear me? Do you hear me? And called me out my name, y'all. So everything inside, I am like getting more and more frustrated and I'm trying so hard not to hit this woman. <laughs> and I'm like, um, ma'am, like, you know, please. <laughs> so I continue walking to the stop. And this man saw what was happening. So he immediately became, like, protective over me. So he's like, look, sit here. I'm here with you. And he stands up to her and says, hey, leave her alone. You know, I'm sure you don't know her. It doesn't seem like she knows you. Please walk away. And she was like, you want in on it, too? You want it on it too? She goes in her pocket, pulls out a pocket full of candy that she'll get from like a dentist's office or a doctor's office and threw it in his face. She was like, here, take that. I'm looking like, okay. Cause first of all, it's just Thursday, okay? It's just a Thursday. We just want to get home or wherever we trying to go. <laughs> like we don't need this. So he keeps telling her politely walk away, but every time he's saying walk away, his fist is getting more and more balled up. But I was paying attention to this man. This man looked like he was like an MMA fighter or something. Like, he didn't look like he should be messed with in the first place. But at least I knew I was going to be Look, I felt so secure with him. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so he keeps telling her, like, walk away, walk away. And she's walking up and down, talking, you know, on the sidewalk. And then everybody who's looking at her, she's just going off on them. You want in on it too? You want it in too? Try me. Come at me. Try me. But 
but I, I have the right to be upset. She killed my kids. And then everybody looking at me and I'm looking like, come on now. Like, <laughs> y'all see me hop off that bus. <laughs> she don't know me. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm waiting on the bus. But at this point, I call my dad like, hey, you know, I told you about these dang on buses and these dang on trains. I'm tired of taking them, okay? So, <laughs> I told him what was going on. And he had, he was actually 15 minutes away from where I was. But the bus was coming in like two minutes. So, I'm like, okay, two versus 15. I don't know what she's about to do. Like, as far as getting on the bus, walking away. But I wasn't about to take the chance on waiting on him. So, I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just take the bus. So, the bus ended up coming as we were still on the phone. So, I ended up coming a little bit earlier than I thought. The bus comes. I hop on the bus. Guess who hops on the bus? Miss, you killed my kids. So, I'm sitting there and I tried to stay far away from her. But I wanted to sit behind her so I can always have eyes on her. And... Do you know this woman was like the nicest person when she sat on the bus? Like nothing ever happened. We were all there with you. Like, don't act like you ain't just do what you just did. So everybody's kind of like looking at her and she's just humming and just, you know, happy. So then she keeps grabbing on the, you know, like if you have ever taken a city bus, you know that you have to pull like a string or some sort of something to let them know that this is your stop coming up or whatever. So she pulls the string, no one's getting off. She's not getting off. So I'm like, now she's just pulling, okay. So, you know, I'm not gonna say anything because I'm already a murderer. I don't wanna be anything else, you feel me? So doing it and then this guy gets irritated like, ma'am, we all have somewhere to be. So can you please not? She turns around with the slowest turn, grins, with these piercing eyes and was like yeah i'll be getting off soon look <laughs> and that's why i stay quiet because it wasn't my business but <laughs> yeah so she ends up uh, getting off and then she got off and was trying to get back on but the door was already closing and the bus driver was already proceeding on. But look, I guess everybody was feeling away because everybody was really happy. <laughs> I heard a few claps and everything. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, what would y'all have done in that situation? Because that was, look, pretty intense. Like, I never experienced anything like that before. And I don't, would not wish that on anybody. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what y'all think and what y'all have done. But I hope y'all enjoyed that story time. I love you guys. 